What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. On this one, I will be focusing on the engine bay, putting it in primer, then putting some color down. Have got a color mixed up and picked out. I was gonna wait till the end of the video to show you, but, and spray it out, and then you're like, oh, that's the color there. But, I know if you wanna see it that bad, you're just gonna fast forward to the end, and you're not gonna watch everything else, so I'll show you now. It's always gonna look a bit different once you spray it down in the engine bay as a solid color anyway, so that is the color that we've gone with. It's a, I'd call it a lime green, limey green. It's inspired by the Can-Am colors on the on the bits and pieces on that, which I think they call it manta green. Um, but it's as close to that as we can get without being neon. Um, but we'll lay it down. I think it'll be pretty cool. And hopefully see the end product at the at the end of the video. I have got some plans for a design and wrap for the rest of the car. So I'm gonna have to decide whether or not I strip back some vinyl and paint some of it or whether or not I try and get a vinyl colour to match. Some people can do custom vinyl. Oh, hey Archie. How you going, mate? Come to have a look at the colour, have you? What do you reckon? No, not interested. So I'm going to have to decide, see if I can get a vinyl wrap to match up to that or whether or not I strip back vinyl and paint and then try and work out how to do the rest of the graphic because there is some logos that match the colour, which I won't be able to paint. But we'll cross that bridge later when we get to it. Going to kick off with rubbing back the engine bay. we started over here. You can get some 400 on it, wet and dry, get it all rubbed back to where I'm happy. Mask off some areas and do the rails, probably just all black this time. Woke up in the morning and I know the way you got there. Have you ever, have you ever wondered should you give up on your dreams because you're not there? I don't want to be afraid. I don't. If I don't make it, I don't want to see the day. I think I'm a second in the step. Finished rubbing it all down now and laid some plastic or garbage bags and some plastic walls. I'm halfway through with putting up the walls now. Um, yeah, coronavirus has played a bit of a role. No, it hasn't. I was going to do this anyway. Making it a bit harder to try and get bits and pieces though for the cars. Things shut down and not being able to get stuff. Like I need to order a cam. The one that I want, I can't get at the moment. So I'm going to see what else I can do. Apart from that, we'll get on to this next and it'll be all ready to go. Another lovely Sunday morning. I've got the rest of the spray booth. Or open air spray booth because it's open air still. Um, going to give it one last wax and grease down, make sure I've got no bits of dirt floating around. Not too worried about it, it doesn't have to be show car finish, so I'm going to lay down some primer. Um, and then, because the colour that I've chosen, which I learnt in pre-primary, doesn't mix well with blue, you'll get a different colour. So, lay down a white base primer, rub that back, and get ready to lay some paint down or lay some colour down. And then, on to the next bit. It's a bit windier than I'd like. It wasn't that windy this morning when I started, but I'll persevere. It's just primer. Got my coronavirus mask on as well. Just lay it down. You gotta love somebody. somebody. First, I gotta love on myself. Love on myself. I know time will take its toll. But I ain't finna waste. Okay, got the first light dusting coat down just to get its bite in. It's been a while since I've been on the gun. I'll be the first to admit it. There's a few bits that are a bit, how you going? Um, but, like I said, I'm not too worried. It's just primer. I'll, I'll get back into the swing of things, hopefully. If not, it'll just turn out shit and I don't care anyway, so. Can't go wrong either way. I will mix up a bit more primer, lay down a couple of more coats, wait for this to flash off a bit more, I think, first, and then get some more coats on. South, this Tennessee. Well, I know it's a difference between the lake and the sea. Where the water looks still, the undercurrent will sweep. I never had me a problem with being lonely and free. I'm no good with new friends. There we go. All in primer. I'll wait for it to dry off. Rub it back with some 400. And then I'll get ready to do the colour. Might have to take the temporary booth down until I'm ready to put the colour on. Because it's a bit inconvenient. But we'll see how we go. This is what it looks like. The fender sits along here, so don't worry about that. But pretty happy with it so far, seeing as how it's been a few years since I've been on the gun. But we'll see how the colour goes, because that's the real test. Primer is down. I'm going to keep rubbing it all back. I've done most of this side already. 
I'll keep rubbing this side back and then it will be time for some color. Continue giving it a rub down on this side. Jump in, baby, run to the Jump in, baby, run to the Now that I've got it all rubbed back, I'll give it a, oh, there's still bits there. I'll give it a wax and grease the whole lot. Then I'll wax and grease it again. So it's extra clean. And then hopefully on the weekend, I'll just give it a quick wipe down. Put my booth back up and then put the colour down. Booth set back up again, home booth style. It is not as warm today, but no wind around. So I'll allow for it in the paint, but a bit better for letting, well, not letting or not having bits of sand and crap flying around and landing in the paint. And should come out pretty nice, I reckon, hopefully. Might be a few runs here and there between friends, but that's fine. I will jump on the gun and let's lay it down. Okay, so I've got the first coat down. Looking good so far, pretty happy with the color. Shout out to my guy Grant who mixed it up for me. Just I matched it off something that I gave him. There's a few bits in here, which as you can see, I've not done that part, but it mixes and makes green. But there's a couple of bits and pieces throughout that I've probably rubbed back through the primer too far. A uh, couple more coats, probably cover it up. You won't even see or just not that noticeable anyway. I'll throw down a couple more coats. Jump in, baby, run to the lake. Jump in. There we have it, all color laid down. Kind of like a electric greeny yellow color, whatever you want to call it. I think it looks cool and something a bit different to the blue. Just thought I'd mix it up and then I'll be able to do something a bit more with the rest of the car. Steer a little bit away from the stealth black look. Um, something that's sort of a bit more attention grabbing. Next, find a motor. 